Hi guys, hope everyone's having a good day. So, my two year old daughter was left home with her dad while I was getting my pedicure done. So here's what she did to the walls. He forgot to not give her crayons. I leave the crayons up. She's only allowed to use them at the table because if she doesn't, this happens. So this is what happened to my walls. So I'm going to attempt to get it off. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be attempting to get this off my walls. So what I'm going to be using a pair that I have and I put some dish soap, some good old palm olin. <laughs> it was like the only dish soap that I had. I had some baking soda, a scrub brush. So let's just see if it works. So I just put the baking soda in and then it's supposed to, I'm gonna try to create, like not to put too much water in there. I just wanna make like a paste. Okay, so sort of like toothpaste. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more water. I hope this works. I've seen a video. But really, I'm going to show you guys what I did before. Because this happened before. I'm not even going to front. You know, when you're on those calls. And they want to just do what they wanted to do. I have two toddlers. One is four. The one who does this is two. I learned my lesson the first time. So it's like pasty. Real, it's real tasty. I think it's a good consistency, and I'm just gonna try to work with this. So that is where the crown's at. That's what I've been scrubbing with some elbow grease. So this is how you get crayon off your wall. I think you guys get the gist of it. I need to put a little bit more elbow grease into this and I'll get back with you. Okay, this is how it is coming along. As you can see, kind of coming off. As you can see, that is where the crown's at. That's what I've been scrubbing with some elbow grease. So, this is how you get crayon off your wall. I think you guys get the gist of it. I need to put a little bit more elbow grease into this and I'll get back with you. Okay, this is how it is coming along. Life, after I got them scrubbing, I sprayed, this is just soap and water in here with a little bit like lemon that I put in here just for some um, smell good. And um, soap and water. A little bit a couple of um, essential lemon drops just to make it smell good and I'm just taking the paper towel and I'm rubbing down my wall is this the correct way to do it I don't I think no <laughs> but I'm you know what I mean like I can't walk into my house every day with crayon on it my husband's like it's artwork I'm like things like this f with my anxiety no this has to come off the wall look at her Come say hi. hi. Cute as a button. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you get mad? How can you get mad? I can't get mad. Okay, so here's the final results. You can see the entire wall. Clean. Here's the other wall. Clean. I got all the crown off. Thank God. And I'm trying to pack to go out of town because tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We're flying down to North Carolina freaking bomb super mom life this is what we do and i just got done washing braiding her hair <laughs> packing all of her clothes moms give it up to yourself kudos to us you know what i'm saying sometimes we don't get enough credit make sure you have a glass of wine get your nails and your feet done you know take care of yourself because we work just as hard 
I'm signing off. I just wanted to show you guys like what it's like with two toddler girls that are completely adorable to me in my opinion. Just not to get upset, not to get mad over anything. Just pick, put your big girl panties on and rock it out because they're just kids. They just think it's fun. You know, there's no point of us raising our blood pressure. There's no point of us raising our adrenaline to get upset or get mad with them. Just try to do your best as a mom. I know it's hard. Or as a father, grandma, auntie, uncle, whoever's raising you, I know it's hard. <sighs> Take a deep breath and keep going. What are their names? This is what happens whenever you have a night out and your kids are being watched by their father. This is what I come home to. The bean bag was opened up and everything. Everything's on the bean bag. So, like out of the bean bag, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm getting ready to clean it up. Hey, are you gonna help me clean this up? Huh? So you're just gonna ignore me, Shia? Shasha? Ignoring. Oh my, somebody help me. Look at all this. All those beans that I gotta clean out of here. See all that? Did I gotta clean up? You try and try to keep your house clean, but your kids 
Because you're already older than them. There's no point in doing that. If anything, it helps you out because you get a little bit of a workout. You know, like while you're doing it, you can work out. There's so many, so many, so many. Look, so many. all here. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay, y'all, how am I doing? A pretty good job, you know what I'm saying? I got the TV on right there. Okay. Had to move everything out of her room. You wonder what we want up. You know what I'm saying? We got this. We still do what we gotta do. Shia, do you see that I cleaned up your room? Are you going to do that again? Yes. No, you're not. I'm not going to do it again, Mommy. Yeah. Say sorry. Daddy. It's okay. I love you. Daddy. All right. Me, me, me. And I'm done. For the most part. There's still a little bit on the floor. You know. But I got it all up. Praise God. Praise God. Thank the Lord. You know, we do what we got to do. No beans on the floor. So, lesson of the day. When you they do something real bad, and you feel like you want to knock their heads off, don't do it. Just take your time. Patience. They're little. Hi. Hi. How many miles? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Hey. I want everyone to meet my husband. That's me. <laughs> I love him so much. And we just wanted to come on here and talk about how, you know, we've been married for quite a long time. How long has it been, honey? Eternity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he says an eternity, but it's been about six, seven years. And we've been together, I think, for like eight years. And we have two children. And, you know, we just want to, everyone to know that relationships are hard. They're not easy. But it is accomplishable to do. If you stay committed to each other and keep working on yourself every day for what you want. And of course, if you don't want to be with that person, don't be with them. If you feel like mm -hmm. that person isn't for you, because that can happen a lot in relationships where mm -hmm. you're just staying with that person because you feel like you feel so ambitious about being in a relationship is what I'll say. Or kids. Or you want children and you feel like your time is ticking as a woman. Or staying for the kids. Or staying for the kids. <laughs> okay. He'll be back. So, just want to reiterate that, you know, relationships are important still. They are important. And it's important to work on yourself while you're in a relationship. And if you have a good person in your life. I have a very good person in my life. You have to be kind to them. You have to 
you know, be there for them and be a strong, strong, strong person for them. And not only that, for yourself. So show up for yourself and your family. It's not easy. But if you work together, sorry, he keeps going in and out the house. It's the alarm. If you keep working on yourself, and um, as long as you guys are working as a team, it is accomplishable. It's very accomplishable if you're working as a team and less bickering, more working towards your goals, things that you want. Have conversations. Like, you know, whenever you guys have those moments where you can go out and just be alone without the kids and without work on your mind and take time for you to just to be alone to talk about your goals and your aspirations and things that you want isn't it highly important honey I was just telling them isn't it highly important to have like conversations together it's highly important to have conversations together to talk about your wants where you see <laughs> your future plans together, you know, mm -hmm. plan for the future. Also, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We hope everyone had a very happy Thanksgiving. You have to be thankful. Be thankful. And I was very thankful for him because he shows up for me all the time, even when I get on his nerves. All the time. <laughs> he gets on mine but ultimately we love each other and you know we do this for the greater good of us and what we desire in life mm -hmm. and to be together because we love to be together so I think the key point that I'm trying to make is to take your time whenever you're getting into a relationship Make sure that the person who you get into a relationship is your person. You know, ask questions at the beginning. Don't just lay down with anybody because you can make a indiscretion, you know. So give it some time before you lay down with that person. Also, you know... There's so many things in this world that can cause you harm for the rest of your life. So please, you know, use protection and do the things that you're supposed to do because it's highly important for your future. And, um, yeah, that's basically where we wanted to come from in this video. So let's talk about the reasons why you love me. Oh. Hmm? That's the end of the video, baby. <laughs> <laughs> love is alive. And if you want love in your life, fight for it. Fight for what you want. Don't give up. Even if it's hard, fight for what you want. Remember, I'm going to end it here because I want to keep it short and sweet. To like this video, subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.